Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Ronald Darby. And I've admitted on future episodes, I'm sorry, past episodes, that I didn't know much about Ronald Darby and I needed to go do some research on Ronald Darby to see what he brings to the, na- to the table. Well, today I'm going to bring to you the results of that research and kind of talk a little bit about Ronald Darby. But before we get into Ronald Darby, today is September 1st, and I want to give to you the results of our August loyalty points. So with a whopping 20,000 loyalty points for the month of August, Brandon Bazell is the winner of our August loyalty points from Sip the Tally Films. So from everyone on the team, team being myself and my wife, <laughs> we want to say thank you to Brandon Bazell for being the August loyalty points winner. So by the time you see this, by the time this premieres, the loyalty points will be reset. So if you do exclamation point points now, everybody will be back at zero. But again, congratulations to you, Brandon. Your prize is already on the way. So again, thank you, Brandon, for uh, participating. And everybody's back at zero. Uh, games are coming soon. So if you do exclamation points now, we should be right at zero or 10 or wherever you at now, depending on when you hit it now. And uh, let's get into Ronald Darby and let's watch this film. Ronald Darby is from Oxon Hill, Maryland. Played college football at Florida State. Sucks. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> he was drafted in the second round, 50 overall by the Buffalo Bills in the 2015 draft. Um, what some people don't know, and I was I didn't notice at first, he finished second in rookie of the year voting in 2015 to our very own, well, it used to be our very own, Marcus Peters. And when looking at his stats, I think his ver- his very best year was that rookie year. And that rookie year he had, he played in 15 games, had two interceptions, 21 passes defended, 21 PBUs, 68 tackles, three tackles for loss. And then last year he had played in only five games, three passes defended, um, 14 tackles, and one forced fumble. Uh, so what I did was I took what I thought was his best game, which was probably his healthiest game, it was versus Seattle, and we know Seattle threw the ball around a lot last year with Geno Smith. So I took that game, and I took some plays from that game, and that's what I'm going to bring to you to kind of give you an idea of what Ronald Darby is going to bring to the table here in Baltimore this year. Initially, I didn't know much about Ronald Darby. After watching this game and the three other games that I had, I kind of like what I see. But let's go into the film. So in this game, Darby had to deal with DK Metcalf, had to deal with Tyler Lockett, had to deal with uh, Geno Smith and the other receivers that that Seattle, you know, presented. So I'll highlight Darby and kind of talk about, you know, the different things. And we got six plays, so I'm going to get you in and out pretty quick. That's him a highlight. And remember Marcus P- Peters played around the line of scrimmage a little bit. Darby gives you that same, you know, kind of force around the line of scrimmage. And you, you see him there, you know, with a tackle for loss. So with him being at the line of scrimmage right there, that shows you that he don't mind covering the tight end. Because at this point right here, it looks like if that tight end goes out, he probably has that coverage responsibility unless that deep safety has it. But I'm saying with that tight end blocking down, Darby has him. See, you see the tight end blocking down? So Darby just takes that gap and goes. And a cornerback that don't mind getting up, playing at the line of scrimmage and tackling like that, I'll take that. I'll take that along with his coverage responsibilities. Let's go to this next one. At the top of your screen now, Steven Spy Shadow. Again, kind of got blocked by the tight end, got a little too tight in the run coverage, but didn't give up on the play. Watch him swat down on this ball. Get it out. Did a good job of, of forcing that fumble. Unfortunately, his team didn't recover, but still, chasing the play down, not giving up on it, taking that big hand and punching that ball out. Maybe we can have fruit punch part two. Never know. Maybe we can have a, a Darby punch. Some other kind of clever nickname we can come up with. But again, I like the fact that he just didn't give up on the play. Because again, he got a little bit too tight on it. Watch the tight end see him at the last minute right there. And he didn't give up on it. Got a chance to just give a, a good claw and rip and punch that thing out. But again, for, unfortunately for him, his team wasn't able to recover it. But again, I like I like the fact that he didn't quit on it and was able to run the, the running back down and, and, and knock it out. Next play. Still at the top. Again, open field tackling versus Penny. Rashad Penny is not a small back. 
Rashad Penny is not a small back. He got one-on-one versus Rashad Penny with no help. Did a good job of getting him down. I love the roll tackle. I love the roll tackle. Get around them knees and ankles. Lock them up and roll. You don't have to be the biggest guy. Just know how to do it. Know the technique. Get around them knees and ankles. Wrap up, roll. Wrap up and roll. It's that simple. You don't have to be flashy. You don't have to uh, hit stick nobody. Just get them down. Just get them down. It's that simple. Be fundamentally sound. And that's what I get in Darby. And I'll talk about it a little toward the end when I give you my synopsis. Look at this. Versus DK Metcalf. We all know how big DK is. Just get him down. And look at that. Force fumble. Held on to DK. Let the cavalry come. They got the ball out. Nothing spectacular. This one-on-one right here. Got DK by the ankle. Just don't let him go. Let the rest of the cavalry come. They rip the ball out. Again, you ain't got to hit sticking. Just do your job. Do what you're supposed to do. And doing your job is what I've seen Darby do in the three games I watched. Nothing spectacular, nothing crazy, but he did his job. That's the kind of guy that I that the Ravens like. They like guys that do their job. Darby is a do-your-job type of guy. And again, we hadn't seen him in coverage, but here we go. Run the out route by Dwayne Eskridge. All over it. All over it. And it's not the greatest route, but again, you get guys over there that don't run great routes, he all over it. He all over it. So you're going to need a good route running to beat him. You're going to need a good route running to beat him. A little simple out. Off-man coverage is what I think he's good at. Zone coverage and off-man. Zone coverage and off-man. Now, if this was Wink's system, I think Darby would not be good for it. But for what Mike does with mixing and matching a bunch of different things, I think Darby can fit well. And this one right here. Off-man. Off-man, he sinks his hips. The, the receiver sinks his hips. Runs the out route, Darby's all over it. All over it. And again, what's that? One more, one more in coverage. Off man again. I think off man is what he plays the best. Watch this. Watch him drive on this comeback. I almost go get it. Good job of almost going to get it. He high points the ball and knocks it away, and it's still kind of blurry, but a good job of going to the top of that ladder. A good job of going to the top of that ladder and going to get it. So like I mentioned earlier, Runner Darby is a do-your-job type of guy. He's a guy that's going to be where he's supposed to be. He's going to do what he's asked to do. There's not going to be a lot of spectacular things, but he's going to make the routine plays routine. And I know that's still in a quote from a rival coach, but that quote holds true. When you make routine plays routine, that's a guy you can live with as a coach. You, that means he's going to be where you want him to be. He's going to do the job you asked him to be. Now, the spectacular plays probably won't come. But there are a lot more routine plays in the game than are spectacular. So finally, after doing my research on Ronald Darby, I think he's going to fit what we do. And as long as he can stay healthy, he can be a good contributor to what we do defensively. So this is my, this is the results of my research on Ronald Darby. And again, I want to say congratulations to Brandon Bazell for winning the August loyalty points again. And your prize is on the way already. And if you like the video, you like the content, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Matter of fact, let me hit this. There we go. And then hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of the 2020-23 season content drops. We got less now. Nah, yeah, we got less than a week before the season starts. Today's Friday. The kickoff is next Thursday. Then the Ravens play the next Sunday after that. So hey, it's about to be hot and heavy. And I appreciate all you guys for your support. So um, make sure you share content and be back soon. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And again, the motto is film, then more film, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. Peace.